All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC flyweight division title. Well, it's got to feel good for this man to make this walk. He has chewed up and spit out all comers on his run to contention. Now he is the undisputed number one contender looking to become the new UFC flyweight champion. A lot of people think he has the skills to do just that. Tonight, though, his opportunity to prove it in front of a sold-out crowd tonight that he is the best 125-pound fighter on the planet. the tape for this flyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Brandon the Assassin Baby. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins and one loss. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Suara Para Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. Hi, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Just out of range with the big right hand. Wow, 
that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop doing it. It won't take many of those. Big punch land. Ooh. Liver kick. Uppercut to the head. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Spinning back fist. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and sick. It's now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Davison Figueredo. Just missed with the left there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice counter jab there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Brandon Moreno. Big punch lands for him. Nice leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. One minute to go in the round. Well, he missed with that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 30 seconds now to go in round one. Second left. Oh! Straight punch land. Big right hand. Oh, nice right and now hand. he lands a combination. So a strong five minutes down. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed. Soda, it's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked. Nicely done. Throws the right hand there. Trying to guard. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nice right hand. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Both 
Fighters back to their feet now. That knee might have landed there. Strong transition there. He moves to his back. Oh, nice punch there by Moreno. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Serve him up. Go get him. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water. Now the ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the entertaining spot so far. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big kick lands. Moreno's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish. Vicious combo there! by Brandon Moreno. Big call. Wow! Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. That is it. He got it! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC Hollywood champion of the world, Davison Garrigan-Hope so the path to UFC gold and glory at flyweight still goes through him as he defends the title successfully tonight by way of knockout. And it's going to take a huge effort, I would think, to dethrone this guy at 125 pounds. A massive effort. And in every title defense, you see his confidence.